Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back with another video. And today we're going to be watching Living With a 3 Ton US Pickup in the UK. <laughs> this video is very, very much of interest to me as this pickup, as you see in the screen right here, this is not uncommon in the United States. This is something you'll see on the roads every single day. We have tons of big pickup trucks. Not always are they bought in terms of utility to the owner. It's rather a cultural thing, and people love having large vehicles and trucks. I personally don't have one because fuel economy. Why would I want to spend more money just to make it look like, oh, I'm this tough guy with this huge truck? That's that's really what it is a lot of the time. But, um, yeah, I thought this would be interesting because, as you guys know, many of you living in the U.K., the roads are smaller due to not having vehicles and being a very old, old country, especially in England, lots of horse and carts. Uh, in the past and yeah so this should be a <laughs> very entertaining video I'm excited to watch it make sure you guys hit the like button hit subscribe consider joining the patreon first link in the description for full reactions to shows and movies British movies and shows of course and with that being said let's get right into this people are staring at me like I'm mad driving around here that's it this is a 1,000 horsepower Hennessy Mammoth, and I'm gonna use it to see what it's like to live with a huge high-performance American pickup truck in the UK. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Buy, sell, car, wow. A sleepy, quiet English village probably isn't the ideal place to be driving this big, gas-guzzling, 1,000 horsepower American pickup truck. Of course. Let's see how we get on. Okay. Of course it has a Texas license plate. That just makes it even more perfect. So here's the first obstacle. I want to go right up here. Um, it's going to be chaos. It's now definitely going to be chaos. Ah, oh, you see, you should have waited. Patience is not good. Okay, so this is not easy. That's like, a nice which, truck. Which strictus. Uh. Okay, got through there. Uh, oh, yeah. Now we're going down a very narrow bit here. Thankfully, I have priority. Ah, van man, you must wait. Ooh. I've never seen a white van reverse up to let you pass before. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, I need to go right here, which is not going to be easy. Might have to just, come on, can you get past? Come on. Right, here comes a three point turn. It's going to have to be. Sorry, everybody. Thankfully, I've got a reversing camera. This is stressing me out just watching. Oh dear. <laughs> right, here's someone in a Range Rover, probably used to like people giving way, but they're gonna have to give away this time. Sorry. Oh, this is a bit tricky. Uh. Uh. Thank God for the sensors. Oh, hello. Um, might have to... Yeah, just go on the sidewalk. Up the cub a little bit. Oh, this is not going to be easy. Oh, this is so hard. People are staring at me like I'm mad driving around here. I think they're right. Can I get around here without hitting one of the pub benches? <laughs> oh, he's risky. He's shaking his head at me like I'm mad. Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy about me having this. Just e oh, it's got to ease out. Sorry. Sorry about that. Please forgive me. Sorry. Sorry. See, the Americans don't do this. It's very British to be going, sorry, 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 the whole time. Done. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go oh. for it. Survived without any scrapes. Now I think I'm going to go to the retail park. It's very American. Oh, no, I'm running low on fuel. I need to go and fill up with petrol. That's going to hurt. petrol, gas. Why do they call it gas? It's not gas, it's a liquid. Anyway, let's go fill up. Oh, hey, that's a good point. Me. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, this is going to be bloody awkward, this is. I have to do about a million manoeuvres. <laughs> oh, I love this video so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Don't think the guy behind is going to get past me. Right. Oof. Hopefully this isn't going to be too expensive. Let's find out. Come on then, got a feeling this is going to hurt. I'm sorry, this guy behind, I've trapped in. He doesn't realise how long this could take. Sorry. 
<laughs> the people wedged in between me and the van are very cross. However, the guy in the van could reverse up, but I think he's enjoying the drama too much. Oh my God, we're already well over a hundred pounds. In fact, it's 120 and it's still going. How big is this tank? I'm paying 182.9 pence per litre. And the Americans moan about their gas prices. They should come live here. Oh, this is insane. Is this going to break the 200 pound barrier? I've never put more than 200 pounds in a car. Right, I think we're done. It has stopped at 101 litres and over 180 pounds. Now, I've got to pay. I'm not what? going to enjoy this bit. See you in a bit. I need to call my bank first. Some time later. I forgot y'all pay after pumping. We could never have that because people would just drive off. Oh my God. Turns out that actually this had a cut off. So it's not full yet. Cut off at just over hundred <laughs> liters. I've got to go again. Oh, those people must be pissed. If you get him to reverse up, you can get out. Okay. Oh, they're getting really mad now behind. I can't blame them. I'm gonna be the most hated person at this Tesco forecourt. Still going, yeah, look, here we go. That's it, it's full, I've got the clicks, finally. Go as quick as I can before the people behind me kill me. Okay, right, better go pay for the other bit in here. They're getting annoyed behind. Okay, so here we go. 184 pounds and another 27 pounds. So that's over 200 quid. I better get going because they're going to kill me. I'm going now, sorry, sorry about that. I'm really sorry. Oh dear. Oh gosh. Oh, they hate me. They hate me and I can't blame uh, them. Um, dude, can I at least give them like, uh, I don't know, maybe a five or something. <laughs> My God, here we go. Let's get out of here. That was very expensive. The most I've ever put in a vehicle. That. They need to chill a little bit though. Like, bro, I know wherever you're going can't be that important. Like, it didn't take him that long. Is the American dream. I think they've had an American nightmare. <laughs> oh, I've got my fuel. Got I my feel bad a though. Dirty, so I'm gonna give it a clean. There's no way I'll fit in one of those automated car washes. This is just too big, so I'm gonna have to jet wash it. Thankfully, there's enough room in this bay. Just. Annoyingly, I'm low on cash now after paying for all that fuel, so I can only do the minimum bend on this. So I'm gonna have to be <laughs> super quick trying to get this done. So minimum bend is two pounds. That's all I'm gonna do. Doesn't seem like this accepts Amex. Thankfully, when you've got one of these, you need to make sure you've got a few bank accounts to pay for everything. So let's try this one. That worked. Here we go. Gotta be quick. <laughs> Oh, I never, never shut that properly. <laughs> that thing does look good though. It's a good, good looking truck. <laughs> That's $100,000 so though. It's just so big. Not the best job. Uh, oh. I'm gonna work out doing this. I've just got two minutes left. Come on, try and get it clean. How do I get the roof? I suppose I could climb on the low bed, but I don't have time. I've totally got this. You gotta hurry up, bro. The roof's just gonna have to be partially done. Ten seconds! Oh god! No way. No way. No! Ah! That's it. My cash. I'll finish off at home. Okay, um, so that's done. It's not ideal. Um, no, that was I stupid. I can finish it off with this. There we go, look. Absolutely fine. Do you know what, all that running around has made me peckish. I think I need some food. Oh yeah, let's go find something to eat. Ah, perfect. The golden arches. 
Let's have a drive through McDonald's, a very American meal in a very American, American truck vehicle. Oh, oh I should have said truck. A bit well, not if you're in a normal car. It looks even this more ridiculous with the car so wash. <laughs> optional helper. Oh. It's really handy to get you through tight spots. It's only available, this upgrade, in the UK for obvious reasons. You don't need it in the States. There it goes, he's been deployed. Hopefully he's got the hollow wheel protection system built in. Here we go, almost there. Oh gosh, this is American, so it's left-hand drive. The drive through is a setup for right-hand drive. Um, Where's the bloody window? Hello? Hi, is everything all right? Everything's fine, as long as I can get a breakfast bacon roll, please. Would you like ketchup or brown sauce with that? Um, I'd like brown sauce. Good choice. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it, thanks. Bab, when you're able, you just want to continue round for me. Okay, see you shortly. Take care. Uh, I need to take care, because this is so big. <sighs> Went for brown sauce because it's very, very British. You don't get that in America. Not Thankfully, this drive through is reasonably wide. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you go up the curb in this because it's got 37 inch tyres. This is the bit I'm slightly worried about. Ooh, that's sketchy. Come on, get round. I've literally no idea where the edges of this vehicle are. Oh, I've just driven past the blooming window. Here we go again. Hello. I've come to get my breakfast roll with brown yeah. sauce. That's it? Can I pay? Next window. Another window. Okay. Right. Here we go again. Oh. oh god right don't want that beeping at me safety first everybody oh uh here we go hey that thing's got a thousand oh, horsepower I'm again i'm too busy watching my spotter that i'm missing the windows oh there's someone behind me hello oh, sorry about this just bear with me that's it. That... Oh, oh, oh. Never. <laughs> I can't reach it. Alright, thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh. He has to be doing that on purpose. There's no way. Tell you what, this is going to be guilt free breakfast because I reckon I've burnt off all the calories that's in this. Just blooming getting it. Let's park up and find somewhere to enjoy my food. Oh, here we go. And now all I need to do. Where are you going to park? Spotter back on board. Come on. Before I go eat, I need to just pick up an essential item which I forgot to buy. So I just find myself a parking space. Here we go. This will do it. I guess that I'll have to do. A few moments later. <laughs> that should be fine in there. No idea. I, I read a notice that says you get a fine if you don't park properly in the bays, but I'm not too worried because where they're going to send the fine to? Texas. <laughs> Let's head back. I've had enough of this. It's too stressful. Oh, this is sketchy around here. Blind corners. Wide vehicle. I hope no one's going quick the other way. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. <laughs> Passing lorries on country roads when you're on the wrong side of the car is not fun. Oops. Due to the weight of this truck, I can only do 60 miles an hour on a piece of dual carriageway in the UK. On the motor, I can do 70, but dual carriageway, 
60, whereas a car would be able to do 70. One of the other drawbacks. I hope my plant's all right in the back. Can't really see it. I'm sure it's fine. Oh dear, that's a little bit of a mess. And so too is trying to drive around a big American pickup truck in Britain. You know, our roads are just too narrow for them. I love them out in the US when you've got these wide, wide roads, but here, not so much. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for some more. That was a really interesting video. Um, should definitely see if there's other things that, when an American item, uh, a common American item is brought into the UK and attempted to use, to be used, what type of language is that? Um, things can go pretty rough and vice versa. So yeah, that was a really interesting video, very entertaining. I can't imagine what some of those people were thinking seeing that truck. I know you guys do have pickup trucks, but not to the same amount that we do, especially in some areas. If you go to a rural town where there's a lot of contractors and um, companies like that, you might only see trucks. <laughs> You might being being a car, a car driver you'll be in the minority there so that's it's pretty insane um but yeah with that being said guys let me know if there's other videos you would like me to check out drop them in the comments down below hit the like button hit subscribe and i'm gonna catch you all in the next video peace